So, minus one, how do you feel about being the official king of the monsters? Uh, I feel ama- it feels amazing, honestly. So, what normally happens around here? Eh, not a whole lot, really. I'm actually kind of glad that my father finally gave the title of King of the Monsters to someone who's actually worthy of the, of the title. I mean, I'm not saying that Legendary wasn't worthy. I mean, he was, but how the way he handled things was just kind of questionable. What do you mean? Like, for starters, he had a um, symbiotic relationship with Mothra, which... It's not bad, but the thing is, he gave her the title as Queen of the Monsters. Is that a joke? No, unfortunately, minus one, that is not a joke. He gave her the title of Queen of the Monsters. Really? Why? I honestly have no idea. You know, honestly... And he ordered all the Kaiju to go in hibernation, even though... Oh, we were awake. Even though, like, the Kaiju had been awake way longer before he even, before his movies even began. And, uh, well, he did other things that were also very questionable. Like what? Well, he w- he ignored Mechagodzilla and allowed his pride and... allowed his pride to get the better of him and challenged Kong instead of going after Mechagodzilla and wasted half of his energy on battling Kong, instead of just ignoring him entirely. (sighs) Well, we can't give Legendary too much, too much hate, I mean... I mean, Super Mario still loves Legendary Godzilla, but... It was just how the way he handled things in the Kingdom of Monsters was just kind of very questionable. I mean, we also have to give him credit. He did brought back the um, the Godzilla franchise in 2014. I'm pretty sure Toho was going to bring back Godzilla regardless, even if this movie was announced or not. I mean... My movie, Godzilla's Final Wars, was supposed to be the last Godzilla movie for pretty much a few years. Like, it lasted for almost a while, actually. It lasted longer than than the announcement of Godzilla vs. Destroyer, which that was supposed to be the last Godzilla movie. And that only lasted for, like... It only lasted for, like, three years until the 1998 movie came out. Then Toho brought back, well, Godzilla. Yeah. (sighs) So, minus one, how does it feel to be the most successful Godzilla movie out of all of us? Like, I heard you won over, like, half, like, $100 million worldwide. And you got an... And you got in like a golden Oscar or something like that. Which that's practically the first time that a Godzilla movie has actually done that, I think. Because I've been hearing rumors saying that like that's the first time that a Godzilla movie movie has ever done that. Eh, I'm not that surprised, honestly. Let's just say um like what Legend Godzilla could have been. No, actually, no, change that. I'm like what Shin Godzilla could have been. Yeah, 
A lot of fans are saying that you are what Shin Godzilla could have been. I'm not being surprised if the rest of the Ray Ra era Godzilla movies are end up being your movies. Well, considering that my director Takashi Yamazaki uh, announced that he does want to do a sequel, but he's unsure because of Toho. Thing. People are wondering if Toho will greenlight the sequel and allow a new universe to take place, like be created or whatever. If a new universe does end up being created and it ends up your and after and and it ends up being your movies, this will be a big change because like the Rainbow era has been like kind of struggling to stick with a Godzilla to stay with because Shin Godzilla, despite being successful, it didn't launch its own universe and a sequel was never made. Then there was the fact that the Earth Godzilla trilogy turned out to be a failure. Signal Point is is actually more successful than those two. According to all the reviews that I've been hearing about. Well, me and Oldsman now have something in common. But, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, um, have you guys thought about your titles of what you were the king of? Yeah, I'm the king of nuclear power, and Godzilla Final Wars is the king of strength. And that's pretty obvious because of his movie. Yeah, that is pretty much obvious. So we got King of the Planet, which is Earth Godzilla. King of Destruction, which is Godzilla Ultima. Um... King of Nature, which is Legendary Godzilla, and King of Strength, which is me, and King of Nuclear Power, which is me, and I am the King of Monsters. So we're like the six great kings. I'm surprised that Legendary Godzilla has not challenged you yet. I'm surprised too, considering... Considering that, hey, minus one. Never mind, you jinxed it, hey, say. Damn it, me, my big fat mouth. What do you want, Legendary? I want to challenge you to a fight. Here and now. Really, Legendary? Minus one hasn't even been here for like a, for like a whole day and already you're challenging him? Really? Hey, say, this is nothing about... This has nothing to do with you. This has something to do with me and minus one here. Here. How dare you take the title of King of the Monsters away from me? Dude, you never had the title of King of the Monsters. Gojira took it back after how the way you've been treating how the way you've been running things around the kingdom of monsters. What? What's what's wrong with Kaiju going in hibernation? Look, legendary minus one is the king of the monsters. Monsters now. Plus, you can't disrespect my father's father's wishes. My father, Gorgira, declared here to minus one as the king of the monsters and his one true successor. Besides, my father has been king of the monsters. For nearly 70 years now, he needed that break. He needs that break. He needs his break. This break is important to him. Yeah, but I brought back the Godzilla franchise. Like, ever since Godzilla Final Wars, Wars ended in 2004, no Godzilla movies were announced. None. And... I brought back the Godzilla franchise, and technically, my my director brought back the Godzilla franchise, technically. What do you mean by that? I know this doesn't really count as a Godzilla movie, but my director put 
Godzilla in one of his movies. It was like at, what, like Midnight at Sun or something like that? I can't remember the name of that movie. But it, but Godzilla had a cameo appearance in that. So technically, my, my director brought back the Godzilla franchise, not you. I mean, he's not wrong. Even if it was a cameo appearance, it was a big cameo appearance. Like, that scene in general felt like a Godzilla movie. So, I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Look, Legendary, I understand what you're feeling. Oh, yeah? What am I feeling? You're feeling anger, betrayal, and you're feeling like you're nothing. I am nothing. Everyone in the, everyone is talking about you everywhere I go. All I'm hearing about is, oh, minus one this, minus one that, minus one this, minus one that. They're praising you. They're worshipping you like a god. I mean, my movie brought back, started its own universe. Yeah, but both of your movies, Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters, didn't do well at the box office. Oh, excuse me? Plus, I don't have a weak spot, which is my skills. I'm not easily hurt by the military's weapons. Oh, damn. I'm a more natural Godzilla. What's wrong with that? That's a thing, Legendary. We're Godzillas. We're not supposed to be feeling pain from the military when they're shooting at us. Unless you're Zilla. Well, then that's a different story. Wait, what about Zilla Jr.? He's fine, because he's actually immune to military firepower, so he, he dodges the bullet with that. Besides... Right. I don't have a symbiotic relationship with a moth threat and needed the help from and nearly died in every movie that I'm in. Oh Ugh. Well I challenge you, minus one. Legendary back off. You back off, hey say. You don't have the power to tell me what to do. Minus one hasn't been here for less than a day. Hasn't even been here for like a whole day. And already you're challenging him. him. He's literally ruining my image. I'm, I've, I'm loved by every fan out there. Look, legendary. I understand what you're feeling, but fighting minus one isn't going to get you anywhere. Even if you're managed to win, you won't be the official crown of King of the Monsters. At this point, it's already been stated, it's already been stated by the Kaiju public. But minus one is the official King of the Monsters and Gorgira's true successor. My father declared Gorgira at Declared minus one as his successor, so get, so deal with it. He's the first Godzilla, and if you keep on challenging minus one, you're going to be dealing with me in Final Wars, because we're the only Godzilla's powerful enough to actually put you in your place. Ugh. Legendary, beat it before I make you. Fine, I'll go. But next time, I'm, when you guys are not around, I'll challenge minus one. Jesus. I'm so sorry about that, minus one. It's fine. This probably won't be the first time it's going to be challenging me, huh? Probably not.